my brain is rattling around right now. The world is so open. Like, this is the textbook definition of difficult. I don't even know how I even got past the first stage. But if you ever go to the second stage, it's pretty much like, it's like a big old dictionary you have to go through. And I agree with this guy. It's, it's a very difficult game, all in all. Like, I'm so confused. How come so many people don't agree with them? The dungeon level is so difficult. I get confused in there. And then the boss fight, they just throw you in there randomly. You must be like a big old dum-dum if you don't think Elmo's Adventures... Huh? That's not the game he's talking about? Oh, then it must be Pajama Sam, Thunder and Lightning aren't so frightening. That one's that one's a pretty difficult game too. No, it's Elden Ring. Oh, huh, how did I miss that? This fella called Quantum TV, number one brand in honesty, by the way. He got himself into a little conundrum. I'm not going to go over what he said because oh boy, he says a lot. But I am going to go over his Elden Ring review. Quantum stays true to his name. And literally, he did like the bare minimum, which is post a bad review and everyone got on him. Someone named Mischief made a video about Quantum, and when Quantum decided to copyright strike him, that was the equivalent of stepping on a landmine. And when the act man had a clip of him in his video, Quantum then decided to copyright strike him, which was the equivalent of stepping on a nuke. But I'm just gonna go through his Elden Ring review to see if his takes were really that bad. Today I'll be giving you guys a review of Elden Ring. Essentially, I don't buy this game. The name of the game should not be called Elden Ring. The name of the game should be called You Die. All right, let me just move this over here. Sorry for my shaky hands. This is because I died a lot. And presto, perfection. It's really nice, I think it has a little ring to it. You're gonna die because the game has no easy difficulty. Spelunky, Celeste, Enter the Gungeon, and millions of other games. They just, the developers grab you and they just throw you in there because they don't want to hold your hand. That's how the game's supposed to be played. No one ever played Mario Galaxy and was like, Mamma mia, pasta on a meatball, stick a pepperoni. That has no easy mode. Wahoo. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has no easy difficulty mode. Guess what? Whenever this F off machine walks towards you, I'm not going to cry saying, Wah, I never noticed that thing was going to kill me. Also, do you know how satisfying it is when you finally parry the blast? So I would say this game is for somebody who really is looking for a sandbox. Well, that's kind of strange. Whenever I think of sandbox, I think of sandbox universe or the game with the funny beard old man. But you know what? Quantum's a pro gamer reviewer, so he must know what he's talking about. Let me check his channel. Oh, he reviews TVs. Um, they have no family, no friends, no life. Quantum, chill. You were talking about building sandcastles with me, and now you're flaming me? For what purpose? For what purpose? And then you look at the graphic style. It's a joke. I'm gonna have to agree with Quantum because. This guy reviews TVs. His eyes are pretty much like 4K built in. He knows what he's talking about. Let's take a look. Oh, dude, I feel sick. Oh, no, no, take this away from me. This is against the Eighth Amendment of cruel and unusual punishments. No, take it away, take it away. Most of your time in the open world is spent just like running around kind of aimlessly, if I'm being honest. It's one of those games where like, there, it's so spread out. The map is so big. You're going to spend a lot of time running around in a very open field that doesn't necessarily have a particular purpose for being that open. I just want to take a little look at the genres. All right, action, role playing, adventure game, open. Well, nope, never mind. That's enough reading for me. I hope everyone knows the genres open field the open world it doesn't necessarily have a particular purpose for being that open that's the review take it or leave it people took it and dragged it to the ground so much backlash he made a part two i just want to get a cup of water because things are about to get heated oh boy oh boy so as you guys know i did a review on elden ring that didn't go very well apparently for some people so i'm receiving some backlash now that i wanted to address with some of you because a lot of you are not only being childish but i don't think you're actually seeing this objectively he's right let me just look through my objective lens Laddie, this sucks. You see, every single Dark Souls fan watching this video right now had to die. True. But you see, somebody like me, I've never played Elden Ring. You know what I met with when I talk about flaws with the series? The same thing I met with the TV world, where when you mention a problem with something, fans of that series just damage control it. They'll say stupid, petty, chisty, catty, childish shit. Like, 
Oh, you've lost credibility because you've spoke your mind. You you gave your opinion. You now have no credibility with me. Okay, bye, bitch. Or, or, hear me out. Maybe it's because you say things like this. That you'll find yourself spending so many hours losing time away from your life. They have no family, no friends, no life. I don't give a fuck. The reality is, that's my opinion. Let me just give you a little personal insight as to how I like to game. All right, you know what? Maybe we're not seeing through his perspective. Walk a mile in someone's shoes, they say. I come home from work, I'm trying to unwind, I'm trying to relax. I'm not trying to sit there stressed out on some fucking game, yelling at the screen, trying to hashtag get good. Well, here's a beautiful thing you can do if you don't enjoy it. You can grab your controller, put it down, and switch games. I personally do not like spice. Salt is too spicy for me. But whenever I see a friend of mine enjoying spicy things, I don't look at them and say, Hey, bozo! Man, get, get that out of there! How the fuck?! I'm just happy that they're able to enjoy things that I just can't. You guys literally sound like, like, abuse victims. A game that's not for everyone isn't a game that should be made, in my opinion. <laughs> you know what? I can actually get behind that one. It's really... Wait, hold on. What... What rating does Elmo... Ad hold on, I gotta check. Oh, you can't do this to me. No! 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 <laughs> at, at least I have Rocket on Wheels. Go to the community as a new gamer. You would, uh, you would think, right, as a gamer, you'd have people being welcoming. Only five people. The rest of them were like, oh, you're a clown. You've lost credibility. It's, it's demeaning. Because you're new to a game that's known, by the way, for being incredibly fucking difficult. So you know it's difficult. And it's your fault. Yes, because you walked in knowing it's difficult. This is the equivalent of walking to a job that you applied for and then crying about the task you were given. It has to be for players who think every game is fucking easy, and if you aren't one of those players, then you are a scumbag, you filthy casual. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. But hopefully by explaining this to you, I can maybe kind of smooth out your aggression and your backlash. No, you actually made everyone's aggression ten times worse, believe it or not. Again, nothing against you, it's not a personal attack. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. At the end of the day, it's a trash game. It's gonna stay on the shelf, and I stand by what I said 100%. For once, he's actually right. It is gonna stay on the shelf. 12 million copies are gonna stay on the digital shelf with the people who bought it. 